Now we've had a whisper about a rumble. A whisper about a sparkler's play. And gone. Savvy? Sorry, sir? No <laughs> faces with shooters. Blagging sparklers. <laughs> Blagging sparklers, eh? Bastards. Now the rumble came from my grass. <laughs> he was a drinker in the elephant. Excuse me, sir. You say that your grass is rumbling. <laughs> Seem like a dicky bird. Where does the elephant come into that? The face is in the blagger from the elephant. And you've got your rumbling grass from the elephant as well, sir. That's right. Any whispers from your grass, Briggs? <laughs> no, sir. Louis, any rumbles from the elephant? My elephant? Not likely, sir, no. no. Now, let's take the sparklers. Dave. All heads up. Where they think about rumbling elephants in the police handbook. <laughs> Just keep grass. nodding. Maybe we can persuade him to call a vet. <laughs> Louis, are you receiving me? Sorry, sir. Right now, I want you in the elephant tomorrow morning. Sparrows. To pick up the chummies with the sparklers. <laughs> Got it? You can depend on us, sir. No problem. <laughs> Excuse me, landlord. We're detectives. I was wondering if you could tell me where we could find the local police informer. <laughs> We've got an appointment. <laughs> Looks like your typical salt of the earth South London villain. I'll deal with this. Watch her, me old cock sparrow, me old china. I was there indoors then. I was the old trouble and strife. <laughs> Apples and pears. <laughs> Dog and bone. Ruby Murray. <laughs> you must be the pigs from the factory. No, we're police officers, actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. We're pigs. And we've come for a rabbit about the rumble in the elephant. Well, you'll get no rabbit from me until you give me a monkey. <laughs> I'm not saying a dicky bird until you give me a monkey. Oh. Did you bring a monkey? <laughs> yeah, a monkey. Of course I didn't bring a monkey. <laughs> Why not? It's not the first thing you think of when you leave the house. Kings, Molly, Truncheon, Airy Primate. <laughs> okay, make it a pony. <laughs> No pony, no rabbit. Well, could we owe you a pony? I could bring it round to your house later on tonight. I need it now, this afternoon. Whatever for? Because I want to put it on a dog at Catford. Can you call for Mr. Briggs or Mr. Lewis? I'll get it. I'll get it soon. Yes, sir, Briggs. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Just a moment, sir. It's a super. He thinks he's David Attenborough. Yeah. Apparently, he's had a rumble that the faces in the elephant have sussed that we're pigs. And a bloke called Mad Dog is sending down some gorillas in a motor to turn over the fox and goose. <laughs> Close early round here. <laughs> On for the road? Yeah, why not? Have you got any real ale? No. Oh, I'll have a campari then. <laughs> a bag of pork scratchings. <laughs> oh, great. Company. Fancy getting glass, lads? <laughs>
biggest force for evil in the world. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Drugs ruin lives. <laughs> <laughs> Kill. See you later. <laughs> so now, I want you to get out there on the streets and arrest anyone who looks as if you're taking drugs. <sighs> you got that? Got it, got it, sir. <laughs> so let's get out there and make this a better world to live in. <laughs> Okay, we're looking for smack, crack, ganja, horse, dodos, blueies, bennies, tabs, and shit. <laughs> Says here. About that bloke over there. You reckon he's a junkie? He looks a bit happy. <laughs> yeah. Okay, chummy, up against the wall. Spread your legs. Yeah, that? Up against the wall, spread them. Yeah, that's a la problema. What did he say? I don't know. I think he's got him. Spread yeah. your legs and your arms. <laughs> so I did, senor. Los diento. How much is he speaking? It's French. <laughs> Do you know any French? Yeah, yeah, a bit. Okay, go on, try it. Um, voulez-vous un armoire, maintenant? Okay. <laughs> what did you say? It's the only bit of French I know. What does it mean? Do you want a wardrobe at the moment? <laughs> plain clothes, Pickford's men now. Senor, no entiendo nada. Y quiero ir, eh? Christ, what's French for spread? I don't know. Um, spread out. <laughs> spread out. Legs. 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 What's legs? Pantalons. It's trousers. It'll do. Spread your trousers. Don't just spread his trousers. Senor, if we are here, eh? Just a minute, hang on. Uno minuto, hang on. Okay, look, I'll I'll spread my legs and then he can follow what I do. Okay, I turn to face wall like this and spread my legs, you see. Easy. I search pockets and trousers. <laughs> but I mustn't take hands off wall while he does this. No, leave hands there. Then he searches jacket. What's this? I have found a quantity of drugs. Ooh, I <laughs> have been naughty. <laughs> and make a rest. Oh dear, I have been caught red-handed. Marijuana. Ah, marijuana. Marijuana, that's right. I think he's getting it. Marijuana, marijuana. No, 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 we don't want marijuana. <laughs> I said marijuana. We don't want marijuana. <laughs> He's pretending to search me for marijuana. <laughs> oh, this is useless. Good marijuana. Huh? Colombian. Oh, God, he's Colombian. <laughs> he's <very> Colombian. <laughs> He'll be here all night. Let him go. business. Nothing. Nothing at all. Come on, Dave. No, oh, it just, uh, just felt a bit hot. That's all. Just a bit of air to me nipple. You had a hot nipple? Yeah, did you ever get that? Hot nipples. <laughs> Not on a regular basis. <laughs> okay. Two possibilities. One, 
there's been an outbreak of mad nipple disease. <laughs> or two, you've joined the Freemasons. Shh! It's, it's just a social thing, that's all. A few of the lads getting together for a drink, that's all. And show each other your nipples. <laughs> Stop going on about nipples. <coughs> if the Grand Wizard... Chief Inspector hears you. <laughs> what? He'll turn me into a toad. Worse. He'll have you transferred to the West Midlands Serious Crime Squad. <laughs> All right. How long are you going to keep this up for, then? <laughs> How are we supposed to operate as a team if you won't talk to me? Jealous because nobody's asked you to be a Freemason. Oh, I know what's the matter with you. Be scared in case I get promoted ahead of you. Oh, shy. Be a lesson to you. <laughs> oh, be up with you. Oh, don't do it again. We used to do it in the old days. Quick clip round the ear. Do that again in a hurry. <laughs> a quick clip round the ear. They were robbing a bloody bank. It's not a big bank, is it? Oh, it's only a little bank. He was a mason, wasn't he? Don't be ridiculous. You let him go because he showed you his nipple. It doesn't matter. Oh, yes, it does. I've no, it, it doesn't. You get them? Ask him. Escaped. Oh. They escaped. Yes. serious about wanting to join the Masons, aren't you? You said if I stood at the bar long enough, someone would come up and ask me to join. The trouble is, you never know who it is who's going to be doing the asking. A recruiting officer could be anybody in this club. The Masons are a master of disguise, you know. It's always the one you least expect. <laughs> Excuse me, do you have a light? Yes, I do have a light. What can I have one then? You mean you really want a light? Oh. I don't smoke, sod off. <laughs> Dave. What? I think I've spotted him. Where? Over there, looking at me now. No, don't be ridiculous. You said yourself. Masons are the master of disguise. Yeah, but they wear aprons, not crimpling dresses. <laughs> I'm Bob Louie. Hello, Bob. I'm Melissa. You can cut the crap. <laughs> Come on, show us your nipple. <laughs> I shove it through my legs and you shake it. <laughs> I've been studying it. Look. We didn't realise you kept such indiscreet company, Brother Briggs. Come on. Come on. I'm a police officer. I'm a police officer. Look, I'm a police officer. Dave, Dave, tell him I'm a policeman. Dave! As you know, we're expecting a visit from His Holiness the Pope. It's our job to make sure he isn't bumped off while he's on our manor. Now, uh, are there any Catholics amongst you? Sir. Good work, Louis. <laughs> Perhaps you can tell us what this Pope fellow looks like. <laughs> oh, sir. 
And he wears a sort of white beret and um, a dress. <laughs> and he kisses runways, sir. You all got that? Yes, sir. Yes. Well, His Holiness has visited cities all over the world without getting bumped off. And I don't want you lot letting me down and dropping me in it with a super. So remember, no dead pontiffs on my manor. <laughs> Just change it because I got it too quick. Oh, didn't? Have another guess. Telegraph pole. Nope. That pigeon. <laughs> Tons of policemen. Shall I tell you? Go on then. Teapot. <laughs> Teapot? Over there in the house. Over there. That house over there. You can if you look through your binoculars. Same wallpaper as that bloke. He's got one of the new cordless kettles as well. It's not cordless. It's cordless. <laughs> anyway, you're a midget now. <laughs> Don't be so childish. We've got a job to do. They've got to be eternally vigilant, like coiled springs, alert to every tiny sound, every every minute movement. We gotta be like animals of the night. Muscles tightly bunched in anticipation. <laughs> Reflexes finally honed by years of specialist training. We gotta see everything. We gotta hear it. Damn, damn paperwork. <laughs> you know, I didn't join the force to sit behind a desk, Bob. I want to get out there, on the streets, where the action is. Me too. Damn paperwork. Damn paperwork. What damn paperwork are you doing? Oh, you know, the usual. What do you mean? The usual. Damn paperwork. Yeah. You know, but what exactly? Don't know, really. <laughs> Just everybody keeps on going on about the damn paperwork, so I thought I'd better do some. <laughs> I'm writing an essay, actually. My friend, the truncher. <laughs> oh, I'm writing some confessions. Oh, anything in particular? No, just general ones, you know, for crimes that haven't been committed. <laughs> I've got to get ahead of myself, you see. Here, what do you think of this one? OK, copper, you got me in the big house. And now you want me to turn canary. Well, I won't do it, see? I won't do it. You can slap me around, but I'll never sing. Never, never, cos I ain't no stool pigeon. <laughs> Call me overcritical. You will. But I think that if you were to read that out in court, a really sharp defence brief might just smell a rat. It sounds authentic to me. OK, copper, I plugged him and I plugged him good, see. But you'll never make it stick, because I've got a mole who'll swear I was in Ricky's bar that night. <laughs> What's wrong with that? It's the way you're reading it. If you are going to fabricate confessions, they have to have a touch of realism. Have you never read any Geoffrey Archer? <laughs> We need to be able to bring our fictional confessions into the 90s. Take your last effort. I was walking in a southern direction when I saw a gang of masked men armed with shotguns approaching a post office. There's no life there, no, no depth. I need to be able to picture the scene. <laughs> Sir, 
so. How would you do it, Mr. William Bloody Shakespeare? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Something like this. Something like this. It was dark. Somewhere an, an owl. <laughs> Two pints, please. I saw a car glistening in the moonlight. <laughs> I heard a <laughs> Do badges bark? Oh, no, it's Louis. Yeah, it's a fox car. The report of a car being broken into outside the library. Suddenly. Oh, can it wait? Four masked men. Don't you have anybody near her? No. No, of course not, sir. OK, we'll be there straight away. Dave, we've got to go. Come on. Well, I can't see anything. Must be another hoax. I had a penny for every hoax car theft I've been called out on. You'd have nine pence. <laughs> it's another bloody hoax. Yeah. Next time, don't bother calling us unless it's important. Over and out. Let's get back to the factory. Visiting the library, were you? Yes, sir. The public library, where people go to borrow books. Yes, sir. Had a tip-off, had we? An armed raid on the early learning centre? <laughs> Another librarian sex ring? <laughs> I don't want to know, Briggs. No, sir. Our uniformed men found your car on bricks outside the Winnie Mandela badminton and squash centre. I'd just like to say at this point, sir, it will never, ever... Happen again. again. Here. Two bus parties. <laughs> for one month. Outside rush hours. Have I ever catch the little sod who stole my car? You've already got him, Briggs. He's in the interrogation room. Chummy, what have you got to say for yourself? It was late. <laughs> Somewhere an owl hooted. <laughs> I saw a car inside the Birdie tells me you've been a naughty boy. A very naughty boy. A little dicky bird tells me you've been messing around with other naughty boys who do some very horrid things. Naughty boys can get themselves into a lot of trouble. They can get sent to bed without any supper. <laughs> Why are you talking like that? Like <laughs> what? <laughs> All this naughty boy stuff. Oh, that's how you do it. That's how you interrogate suspects. Who told you that? Well, I've seen it on the telly. You sound <laughs> stupid. Well, that's how the real pros do it. Well, you have to talk like a four-year-old. Yeah. <laughs> you sure? <coughs> Positive. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> Does the naughty boy want a birthday present? Yeah, because if you're a good little boy, you can have a present. But if you're naughty, you'll have to stay in that nasty little room with the nasty little man who locks you up and gives you icky, sticky porridge. <laughs> you'll find him mad. <laughs> He doesn't use naughty words. He'd have to wash his mouth out with soap and water. Mm. Look, I want to speak to my solicitor. 
Mr. Solicitor has gone on a long, long journey in his Momo. <laughs> he won't be back for a very long time. I want this interview recorded. I know my rights. Damn. <laughs> you forgot to turn the tape recorder on. I forgot it's your turn. No, it's always my turn, isn't it? It's, it's always my your turn. turn. It's not my turn. So just get on with it, will you? All right. What's the matter? Well, I can't think of anything to say. <laughs> One, two, three. One, two, three. Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went... my client made a full confession to the charges brought against him. Yes. Um, yes, that is correct, Your Honour, yes. And this confession was recorded on tape in accordance with the regulations? <laughs> yes, yes, um, that's, that's right. Lord, I wonder if the court might hear this confession. <laughs> oh, very well. Mary had a little now. <laughs> to believe. Embarrassing. Terrible. I've never missed Top C before. <laughs> the placeman's lot is not a happy one. Happy one. <laughs> rattle my brain too much love makes a man insane you broke my will what a thrill goodness gracious great balls of fire <laughs>